Hello everyone, welcome to Bunty's channel for building a self-driving race car. Today I have come up with another tutorial on setting up a 3D camera with our beloved Jetson TX2. In the last couple of months I have been trying multiple 3D cameras. I tried the Jet Stereo Lab Jet camera intel real sense but both fell short of my expectations then i found out that uh, stereo lab is going to come up with the mini z camera mm -hmm. which they are calling zm and i pre-booked immediately in november i actually got my camera just today and i jumped on starting experimenting with it so I came up with a tutorial to how to set up and integrate this with Jetson TX2. So first thing we need to do is to basically see what all came up with this Mini Z camera. So I got a Mini Z camera which is called ZM. Two cables to hook up this to a USB port one small which i am presently using the another long one it also came with the stand you can put your camera on and then this stand you can actually put it on your robot or in my case i'm going to put it in front of my car The first thing we need to do in order to integrate this camera properly is to download the Jet SDK. So what you do is go to the Stereo Lab website and click on SDK downloads. Depending on the Jetpack 3 a version you are using, I am using 3.1 with CUDA 8. So I downloaded the Jet SDK for Jetson TX2. Once you basically download it, you need to move the executable or that file to a local directory in your home. I created a mini Z directory and moved it there. You have to change the permission to executable in order to run it and then run that. It takes around eight to 10 minutes to complete you should see Z SDK installation complete message which indicates that it has now downloaded properly the second thing we need to do is to download ROS wrapper from github so Z ROS wrapper from github for any ROS libraries or packages, what you need to do is create a Catkin workspace. If you don't have it, just create a Catkin workspace in your home directory and then create a source directory underneath. Use the command git clone. You can use uh, either git clone and you can specify the version or distribution you are using. I'm using Kinetic and download it from the github.com, the jetros wrapper.git. You need to go to the parent directory to do catkin mac, mac. It will basically build your uh, wrapper. You also update your environment, the setup.bash. Next, you want to download the IMU tool for ROS using the same git clone in your catkin workspace source directory you copy the imu tool from github.com you can actually verify that you are, uh, have all the dependency by using the ros depend install command it will install all the dependencies and then you do the catkin make you can actually git clone both them together first and then do the catkin make ones. Next, we would like to basically test out our jet wrapper. 
So see basically whether it has uh, properly downloaded everything and the camera is operative. So what we need to do is launch using ROS launch JetRapper, but with the display version. So with the display ZM, it will launch uh, always and we can see if we can get the camera interface properly so you can see that uh, on the right you have the camera orientation and if you basically have move the camera you can see that it shows the 3d orientation of the camera We can also on the right, look at the robot model and can see if we are getting the positions. So it shows that the position and orientation of the camera is available. So if you move it, you can see the value changing there if you keep it still on a solid surface you see the values are more or less remain same the other thing you can actually verify whether the point cloud is available so you can see that the point cloud see the point cloud you can also try looking at the depth cloud that actually gives you the depth cloud So that shows that uh, uh, the camera is working properly. We quit the Arvis. Now the next step is we would like to basically see if our own listener, odometer listener can actually get the values from this ROS, Jet ROS wrapper. For that, uh, the first thing you need to do is write your own listener. So what I've done is basically in the Catkin workspace, inside the source, I created my own odometer sub. So this is the odometer So I created the, it demonstrate the receipt of position and speed of the Z camera over the raw system. I'm still working on the processing of it, but what you need to do is you make this the same way you make any other ROS node by actually going to your Catkin workspace and doing Catkin make. So Catkin make basically install everything properly so the first thing we need to do in order to verify is working is to run the raw score so the first thing you do is run the raw score so it started the raw score services with the ras out 
So if you basically now check what nodes are So look using the RAS node list you see the RAS out is actually there available now we launch the camera wrapper jet wrapper but without the display so you do the ROS launch so we do the ROS launch jet wrapper jet dot launch so let's see what all nodes it actually launches it is basically have launched jet state publisher and wrapper node Now the next thing we need to do is to launch our or run our odometer listener. We do ROS run with our odometer listener. Once we do that, we see that we started getting the position X, Y, and Z from the mini Z camera. If I now move the camera, you can see the value is changing. If you keep it on a hard surface, the value more or less remains same. So that shows that uh, uh, our listener is able to listen to the Z, Z Mini Z camera. If you less ROS node, you will see that Odom listener is also there and is able to actually listen to it. And you can see that if I, if you kill the Z camera, the listener stop listening. So there's no more values coming. So that shows that it is actually getting the values from the 3D camera properly. And we should be able to actually then process according to what our needs are. Uh, the next point uh, will be for me to actually experiment with the three point cloud and the depth cloud using a ras node and then start building the full system uh, if you have any questions queries please write back to me or uh, put it as a comment underneath i appreciate like the video if you like it thanks have a good day